are into Eden Fatal Brainstorming Session number seven. Oh. We are the 28th of February. Welcome everyone, and I am with Dancing Joy, my co-host today. Hello, Dan, how are you? Hey, Patrick, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm glad to be here with everybody. Thanks everybody for joining and watching, and uh, looking forward to a great brainstorming session. Absolutely, Dan, as always, straight to the point. And how are you, by the way, I should ask. Oh, very well, I am just uh, enthusiastic. <laughs> to go with this brainstorming session straight to the point. So hello also, um, Vlad, today. Thank you to okay. join us, as always. Thank you, Vlad. How are you? Greetings, greetings. Good as always. Perfect. That's what I love it <laughs> with you. And we have uh, Tadas Veitikunas joining also. How are you, Tadas, today? Hello. I can't complain. You can complain? Ready Perfect. We have Lenny. You can, can complain. <laughs> Fantastic. We have Lenny from the Sweden Lakes, the best place in the world. How are you, Lenny, today? Well, best. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, no, I'm good. Thanks. Still standing upright, so that's got to be considered a plus. Wow. <laughs> and we have someone new with us. Thank you to join Noam, someone new into Eden Fractal meetings that is joining this uh, Eden Fractal brainstorming session. Thank you very much, Noam. How are you? I'm OK. Trying to learn. Fantastic. Today, we will dive into a process that is the delegate process that we have into the breakout room. Uh, we have to elect a, a delegate. And what is a delegate? How it works? What is the goal of a delegate? What is the role of a delegate? We have to answer to some question and we will brainstorm on that. So maybe first I will do a round table and I will begin with Vlad, the man of the blockchain. And I will let him know us, for him, a little clarification, three minutes, not more, about what is the role of a delegate for you? So first of all, I think it would be good a quick recap of um, where the delegate comes from. So we, as a Eden Fractal community, have accepted a process called the uh, Eden Plus Fractal, and I think this process is uh, good for, as I already previously mentioned, good for some things like decentralization of the contracts but uh, not so good for other things like uh, decision making and um, now we yeah when when we designed the Eden plus fractal we didn't concretely define what is the role of the delegate hence here we are defining it now and um, I think uh, the role of the delegate should be to secure the treasury, secure the treasury of Eden Fractal, plus um, to execute actions on behalf of Eden Fractal contract. So right now, uh, we just recently did a new multisig. So Currently, <clears throat> the multisig to change the multisig it's a manual process, but uh, <clears throat> the idea is to automate it uh, so that each time when delegate is chosen, he automatically becomes part of the multisig, and in this case, the role of the delegate becomes uh, by default uh, executing actions on behalf of Eden Fractal. And also by default, they become the treasures. And uh, yeah, I think the role of the delegate should not be decision-making. If we look at the corporate governance, I think the delegates resemble the most uh, the board of directors and the board of directors, they don't dive into day-to-day -day operations of the business. They elect the CEO, who then creates the organizational structure and board of directors, they just 
oversee and they also allocate the money so to say so yeah that's uh, that's in a nutshell thoughts okay perfect vlad as always and now it's the time to put that into bullets and that's that's the time to share the mind map the share my map is coming okay that's the minute of the mind map i share the mind map now <laughs> okay let me share that uh, very well beautiful little intro song too no, thank you thank you okay so vlad great point you made with your clarification yeah. and i have created a new branch into the mind map on the proposal on the right side you have a, a branch now named named role of a de of the of the, of a delegate and i put vlad as first uh, we are into the clarification 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 phase so vlad your bullet about all what you describe it now i retain that you have mm -hmm. said stated that uh, so, the, the role of a delegate is to for the treasury uh, yeah decentralize the contracts that's a bullet point the contract of what contract of hidden fractal the hidden fractal contract By yeah. being a delegate, you decentralize indeed the more more than uh, that we are already the hidden fractal contract, right? Right now, no, but uh, yeah, that's the uh, next thing I will be working on. Okay, yeah. because behind the hidden fractal contract, we have an MSIG, by the way. So, second point, bullet. I will make about four bullets maximum. Or five. Um, role of delegate, not decision making. Not decision making. The role of a delegate should be, and then other bullet. No, it's okay. Not not, yeah, not completely not decision making, but um, mm, let's say limited decision making. Wow. Okay. Limited decision making. Okay. Other bullet that that's you mentioned. Pretty much. That's pretty much that. Okay. No, like execute actions. No, yeah. Execute actions on behalf of Eden Fractal Contract, but it's essentially the same as the decentralized first point. Yeah. So that's the two category, yeah. two main topic points that you see. Okay. Okay. Have you something else to add to your bullets for the clarification? Mm. Oh, I'm interested to hear what others think. Okay, let's go to the next uh, member here of this Eden Fatal Brainstorming session. I will give to um, Tadas what you think about the clarification. We are into the clarification. Huh? So, your bullet. Yeah, so clarification, I would ask questions. For Vlad, uh, okay. who who would be making decisions then? Like you say that uh, the role of a, of delegates would be to execute the yeah. intent of Eden Fractal, right? Mm -hmm. But how would we know uh, what's the intent of Eden Fractal? Very good question. Uh, that. That's a uh, idea that I had recently. Maybe something that we could experiment with uh, in Eden Fractal. But uh, the idea would be to elect each uh, period, let's say two months, elect uh, a lead link. A lead link is, is essentially a, um, the main decision maker of a circle and how he would be elected is using again the well that's to decide but one option is to use the traditional uh, method as we use in the main Eden just have an election every two months to elect this one guy who is lead link and his responsibility would be to create roles 
So to create uh, roles that people people could fill. And he would describe what is the responsibility of each role. And then it's um, the decision making is up to the up to each person filling the role. So it's really um, how to put it. Okay. Um, a Vlad. lot of decision making power for each individual. Yeah. Okay, Vlad. Just to, to complete what you yeah. said, uh, and thank you for the question, uh, Tadas, to, to explain more what is this limited decision making means. So I have put it that, uh, that would, this limited decision making could be that you elect a lead link of a circle by doing an election every two months. That's what you, what you mentioned, Vlad. Mm -hmm. Yes. And by doing this election of a lead link of a circle by do, uh, every two month election, uh, the responsibility of this uh, lead link will be to create holes into this circle. Yeah. And then for uh, each hole in yep. and uh, and the holes into the into the circle of the lead link uh, will be. The, de the responsibility responsibility of the decision will be by the people adding into these uh, uh, roles, indeed. So, so, so it depends. Yeah, it depends what is the decision. So each uh, decision is in some kind of domain, whether it's uh, marketing or it's web app or it's smart contracts. So. Uh, each person who is in the role, he has full autonomy to decide. So, and, and here it's important to note that it does not mean that this person will not interact with the community and will not ask what the community thinks. If there is some kind of big decision to make, he can create a topic and he can ask other people and get their opinions and make the decision based on that as well. Okay, makes sense what I write. Uh, limited decision making because we elect a lead link of a circle doing an election every two months. By doing an election every two months. Yeah, by doing an election every two months. And by doing an election every two months, the lead link has the responsibility to create role. And uh, the responsibility will be taken by the person filling this, filling the role, filling each role. Correct, filling each each role, and yep. a role and a role for you. What is a role for you? It's for example, you have the let's let's, let's take an example. You have the circle. What a circle is about a domain for you: marketing, development. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say a circle representing. Yeah, so, so the main circle is just Eden Fractal. The main circle is Eden Fractal. But within that circle now, a role is just um, uh, no, in traditional, again, corporate world, it's just a position. What is your position? What is your role? Each position role has just certain responsibilities. You're responsible for developing further the web app. Another person is responsible for spreading the world word about uh, Eden Fractal. Third person is responsible for onboarding specifically one-on-one -on -one people. So yeah, it's whatever yeah. the lead link will come yeah. up with. Yeah, let's let's keep simple. Um, we have a circle that is the main circle is Eden Fractal. And into this main circle Eden Fractal, uh, we have a, a role. It is a position like, for example, dev, marketing, onboarding, Correct. That's the roles that is that are into mm -hmm. this into the circle, and uh, we elect every two months who has to be into those roles: uh, dev, marketing, onboarding, and the guys that are into this uh, filling these roles are taking the decision in it. Correct. Yep. Okay, I have understood. So. Uh, Tadas, other question about the the point of uh, of uh, Vlad.
Yeah, me too. Yeah, for ah, okay. For now, nothing. I, I yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. So for now, nothing. I will let others. Okay. And into the clarification, you want to something to clarify yourself with your bullet. You have nothing to clarify about the role of a delegate, or it is Vlad who, uh, leading the the clarification for the moment. It's okay, or you have something to add yourself. Yes. So my yeah. It's, so I I I think Vlad answered my clarification okay. question. Okay. I will let jump. Um... Dance enjoy maybe. Have you something to add to this clarification of Vlad, and that Tadas is aligned with this clarification at the moment? Have you something else to to add as bullet point yourself, or you think? To be clear, uh... I'm not. I I'm not sure if I'm. I'm not sure if I'm aligned with that idea. I'm just. Uh, uh, Nothing to uh, add. Vlad clarified what I asked. Yeah, Vlad clarified his. Uh, his model, thought model, that I was not Clarified sure. Clarified his model. Yeah, okay. So to, 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 to dance in joy, do you have to add something to the model of Vlad on the clarification phase, or do you want to add more bullets to that? Yeah, thanks, Patrick, and thanks, Vlad, Tadas, for all the great thoughts. Um, I think, well, I mean, first of all, I'm also interested in hearing what... Lenny and, uh, and, and Noam have to thank too, but I think maybe it'd be helpful if I uh, provide a little summary for the audience if they're not familiar with um, the role of delegates. I mean, Vlad explained it pretty well, but but I also have a couple windows up where I can share a little bit more about this. So if it's okay with you, then maybe I'll share like a minute or two presentation just to provide a little bit of extra context. Um, and and that I think will help uh, help because uh, because Vlad and I were also discussing this in a recent meeting too. We we recorded a new kind of a show called discussing Eden Fractal stuff. And I encourage people to listen to that as well, in addition to this for some more context. So if it's okay with you, Vlad, uh, 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 Patrick, then I'll start sharing my screen now. Okay, sounds Absolutely. good. Let's go. Um, okay, sounds great. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So um, yeah, here's the show I was just talking about. People can check it out at edenfractal.com slash D-E-F-S. I see if that's right over there uh we also talked about the best dogs in the galaxy very much inspired by patrick and we talked about uh holacracy which i don't know if we mentioned it by the word today but that i think is inspiring a lot of lads thoughts as well as sociocracy as well so um just to give a quick overview here you can check out this page we, we recorded for about an hour or so and there's some timestamps below and show mm -hmm. notes where you can look at what we're discussing we talked about this for probably like 20 minutes or so and i'll clean up this time sense later but uh you can see how vlad was talking about this and introducing these ideas to me about um how there could be a lead link and somebody mm -hmm. like a lead link ceo and so forth so mm -hmm. i have a lot of thoughts about this and i shared more there but just write a little overview for uh some extra context that can be helpful to understand vlad's thoughts and also just to provide an extra context too in case people haven't been following along with eden fractal and the delegates and the uh eden fractal brainstorming sessions the process we've been using for the past 20 weeks now or so has been the Eden plus factor process. This is the process where we elect delegates that the DOS created. Um, I'll also share links in a moment as well. Um, so in the, yeah, at edencreators.com slash Eden plus factor, you can learn about um, this process that Tadas created and how exactly it works, how we elect delegates. There's a lot of resources here as well as like a historical context about how we've used it. And you can see Tadas's original proposal about the uh, consensus process as well as some benefits and then the process. There's a picture here where it shows how we elect delegates who form breakout, uh, who form councils for four weeks each. Um, I, I'll share a couple more links and then at the end, I'll also provide links to so you can add them to the mind map, Patrick. Thank you for curating them there. I also, as we were talking, I just started to put together some thoughts as well uh, about Vlad's thoughts there. And then I've been thinking about roller delegates. So I'll get this later, but uh, there's some thoughts about what is consensus anyway and my thoughts about what uh, the role of a delegate is, but I'll share that later. Um, also, Tadas and I spoke about this process on the Creator Talk podcast that uh, we released a couple months ago. It was the first episode of it. That's at creatortalkshow.com. People can learn about it, and there's timestamps where, in particular, we talked about the idea of measuring consensus and tools to learn what communities think, which I think plays a role here as well. Uh, and then also, I think a lot of the inspiration for Vlad's thinking has come from Holacracy, which you can learn at, I think, holacracy.org is one of the main websites where... Um, People can learn about this process. It's being used by a lot of organizations with the circles and lead links and so forth. And there's also a similar one called Sociocracy as well. And Sociocracy Secret All has a lot of great ideas as well. Um, that's something that Gabriel has joined and shared some ideas about 
using the sociocratic method to um, decide what to discuss and what like clarification and so forth. So just about a little bit of context for anybody who's just joining in and not familiar with it, I can also share some thoughts about um, what I think about Blatt's proposal. But um, I, I suppose before I do that, I'll just leave that introduction there. Happy to clarify anything um, and pass back to you, Patrick. Thank you very much, Dan. Can you just put me the, the link for the discussion with Vlad about uh, holacracy? You have uh, doing stuff, an episode I was uh, uh, seeing that uh, about maybe three times. So I will put that into the mind map if you want to share that. Yes, sounds great. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sharing it in the Zoom chat right now. That one is that's the devs.com slash devs. And then if you scroll oh, down okay. a little bit at the timestamp of 21 minutes, that's when yeah. Vlad brings up yeah, the yeah, idea yeah. Of, um, oh, like of this. Okay, so I will put a sub branch of a uh, role of a delegate and I will put this episode to put some context. Holacracy. Holacracy. And I will put this link directly. Like this, we have something into the mind map directly pointing. Okay, that's made. That's the depths, like definitions or what you want to say. That's with depths. The depth. Okay, <laughs> perfect. So well, um, <laughs> it's let's an go acronym back. Acronym for discussing impact stuff, but also most yeah. definitely. Okay, let's go back to the to the notes here. Thank you for the for the introduction and for the some context. But now about your bullets, have you some bullets on this uh, clarification of Vlad to come back to the question, or are you nothing to? As uh, Vlad already clarified the model with the with the delegate, the role of the delegate, or you want to add something to the role of the delegate? That was the question. The model is pretty clear to me right now. Um, I have some reactions and I might have some minor clarifications in the future, but I think I understand it pretty well for now. So maybe it's best to pass it on to Lenny or Noam and hear what they think about it. Absolutely. That's what I will do. But I write what you stated now. You have Vlad has already clarified the model for the moment. You have not, nothing to add as bullet point for the moment. So, okay. So... Let's continue with the clarification. Always, we continue with uh, Noam. Three definitions I've seen for the word delegate that have some overlap, but they're coming from very different places. One of them is the delegate that I see in fractally, uh, in the fractally white paper, which is basically somebody that's elected by a. Uh, circle to represent them in everything. To represent the group, uh, uh, the, the group one of, of, of someone, the, or someone. It, repre the, it represents a group of six, and then the delegate, six delegates select and de a delegate for themselves and so on. So it's, it's the person selected to represent the group, and something about that person, it it's related, at least for me, to the way that a, a large community can deal with uh, rational ignorance. Uh, okay. When you delegate someone to do something for you, you're saying, he's going to do the thinking, I trust him. You're not actually telling him to go do something, you're, uh, you're just saying, this is someone I trust for the next four weeks to make the decisions for me, because I don't have time to look at every decision myself. Trust, now, the, the other definition of delegate that I've seen. Yeah. So representative. Other definition. And that's a sub bullet for the first one because I'm going to define three of them. So when you say elected by okay, a circle the, to the represent to person, represent the group, can you uh, uh, okay when you say elected by a circle to represent the group? A group that's the first out of three, and you're you're doing sub bullets for it, so you have to indent it. In indent the, the last two to the right. Yeah. Represent the people and the trusted person. Uh, I, I would say trusted rather than trustworthy. I don't know if they're they're actually trustworthy, but they are trusted. Okay, 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 okay. 
other definition for you of a delegate? Okay, the second definition I've seen. What? Mm -hmm. Second definition is what I've seen fractally actually do in the two uh, weekly meetings that I've had, which is you're voting. It's not really a delegate, but you're doing the fractally process. But in the Eden fractal, we're voting uh, respect for what they've for what they've already done. So it's a kind of retroactive respect for what they have already done. Okay, and in the, that's in not the... really a delegate, but that's what we're we're using mm -hmm. the fractally game for. Okay, I have a question on that. You say like, and the I've fact... seen also that. Yeah. You say like in the fractally process. So you think when you say like in, in the in fractally the what is, process. Okay, but what it is like in the fractally process for you when you say uh, the definition of a delegate that should be, okay. could be so like in, in, in the fractally in process. In the breakout is... rooms, mm -hmm. in the breakout rooms, I see two times when we're actually using Tadasa's fractal gram. One is to rank people for the consensus. The other one is to vote for a delegate. And those are two very different things. Those are the other two. Okay, so uh, I'm not following really what you say, but which is uh, mostly retroactive. Retroactive. Okay. Uh, in fractally process indeed. Okay. I am sorry, uh, I am not I am not understood. In the you, you, what... room, we're using the consensus method. Okay, I will maybe let uh, Vlad uh, Patrick, join. Patrick, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, but I don't understand you. I will give to uh, Vlad in order to clarify what you say here because <laughs> okay. I, I am lost. Okay, to this, I, I will I will delete that and to rephrase that. Mm -hmm. I have understood until here. I don't understand your second bullet point that you will maybe uh, say again. Okay. Second point was. Mm, uh, he was mixing uh, hmm. a little bit the respect and the delegate election in in our in our process. The delegate is not turning any respect. Uh, that's well, why. He actually, we, that's why yeah. I said I said we need two different bullets for them. Hmm. But let's go. So during the chances. I, I would say put one bullet as respect, the second bullet as the uh, voted delegate in the breakout room. And we'll I'll let other people uh, define what they are. Uh, uh, that's a voted delegate. Yeah, that's how it used to be in yeah. Genesis Factor, where a delegate was kind of elected by earning respect in the room. So I think I understand what Noam's saying there. And but that's not currently being used right now. Yeah. So so what I'm saying is we have three things here, and I would love to hear the rest of you flesh out what these three bullets should be. There is okay. one thing I would like to say okay. before I move on, which is for the respect bullet. I have the sense that the respect is a way for the community to retroactively say, hey, the work you did here we're retroactively naming that work as a delegate, naming you as a, as a, the work that you did as something that we're delegating as the whole community. We're, we're giving a stamp of approval. It's not really a delegate, but it is a stamp of approval by a community. When you vote for some, uh, for someone's uh, work. Yes. I, I agree. It's a sample of approval, but it's not a delegate though. And I think it might just be compute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you I will maybe. It if you call that I will give to, to Tadas. Yes, to Tadas. I, I, I yeah. think it's something that happens to a delegate afterward in order for his work to be approved. Yeah, we are uh, just a little if bit uh, going uh, up outside of what we are we were discussing. But um, I will give to to Tadas just to 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 uh, clarify okay. on the Noam Tene uh, point here. Can you maybe try to, uh, to yeah, so I've... the first I've... point? The first point first, elected by yeah. a circle to represent the group, that's, uh, it's it very, uh, yeah. 
Yes. So I think what Noam's question is about how Eden Fractal is currently working, I think. Not about Platt's proposal. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's how I understood it. And the way currently Eden Fractal works is that uh, a delegate uh, is... Uh, it has no nothing to do with how respect is awarded. Totally. The way uh, Fractally proposed it was that people who earn a, a lot of respect would would gain their decision-making power. Uh, but that's not what Eden Fractal is doing, and I have an argument for that, for why we are doing it the way we are doing it. It's because, in my opinion, if you're earning a lot of respect, that does not mean that uh, you you want or you should be making uh, decisions, because there are people who are making a lot of good development work, for example, yeah. but uh, but maybe they don't want to get into the politics or something. Mm -hmm. so that's why, that's, uh, in my opinion, that's the rationale for separating the delegate as the decision maker from the uh, people who, from the respect. What I want to add to to, uh, to Tadas, what he just uh, stated. The respect token that we are uh, giving into the Eden Fractal is for the people doing their contribution into the breakout room. And the, the delegate into the breakout room, he can be elected outside of this fact that there is a respect or, or not. Uh, sometimes I have uh, had the experience that someone was leveled two into uh, the breakout room and he was the delegate. That's nothing to do with the with the contribution and the respect that you receive when you do the, your contribution. I am just writing that here. The respect is for the people doing but, their contribution. Patrick, you're stating the obvious. Uh, I don't think we need that bullet. It's obvious. That's why we have three bullets. Yeah, I, I the leave. The one this... that's elected outside of the path is I the keep... vote to delegate. It's the third bullet. That's yeah, yeah. why there is a third bullet. I keep this bullet point very important because we have also to understand when you deserve to have respect, it's when you do your contribution and to be elected as a delegate uh, at not really uh, to do with the respect. I give to Lenny, he was uh, raising his hand uh, before. Uh, Lenny, if you want to, to make your uh, comment on that. Well, I and maybe ask for, for the same kind of clarification some of that the dust made you know I, there was a bit of mixing how it worked the respect and the delegate yeah no had it right it was just the way he did it but uh, i don't have much more to add to what others have said except maybe and you know this from before that i've been kind of preaching that we need uh, some kind of a synchronization or that uh, Eden Fractal must adopt also a bit of an Eden process. So we need some kind of a, not a leadership, but some people that actually is running the show a little bit from time to time. Otherwise, the pace we do now will continue how many years ahead <laughs> and similar. <laughs> That's number one. Secondly, we are constructing a very complicated bureaucracy that Swedes will be very happy to see because we, we are creating delegates, we are creating decider uh, systems and similarly, which uh, becomes very cumbersome, I believe. And uh, I'm totally with Vlad because I also have been preaching Haifa and that kind of an attitude and they already have kind of all these things worked out very well and no need for delegates and similarly because the community are the ones that say yes or no directly and for different roles. Okay, they do it partly as payrolls and uh, asking for jobs, but it is on very use i think three month terms and oh i want to do that and so and uh, similarly and then it's up to them if i want to be paid and whatever and what they would be paid and then the community say yes or no basically one by one on smart contracts and similar but that's my view so i'm a bit of a disruptor here that's why i'm quiet most of the time and see how you develop thank you lenny uh, that makes sense as the moderator and the host of this uh, brainstorming session I am also into Eden Fractal and I have to, to be uh, also uh, putting my um, clarification on that here also. I will put also my clarification here. I am totally at the moment aligned 
with the Vlad uh, model that makes sense for the future of Eden Fractal and to be less, uh, let's say, I will I will say here, Vlad clarified well the model of holacracy, uh, where we should go because the the, the proposals uh, themselves sometimes we are a little bit. Uh, I will say stuck it. What's cool about Haifa that you can uh, really customize there how you want to let the community to take decisions. You can also customize it that one person does all the decisions. So that's cool about Haifa. Can I write that in uh, bullet point for Haifa? Haifa allows what in this matter on your clarification is hello? here. Haifa just allows a lot of customization. So you can design their sociocracy, you can design their holocracy, whatever you want. Okay, on socia sociocracy and holacracy side of the things. They, they have process for that. And you think that Eden Fractal could maybe yeah. use those, those kind of processes or inspire on these uh, processes? Yeah. Okay, yeah. without to use IFA really, but at least yeah. Yeah. Uh, take this ID. Yeah. Uh, yeah, either use IFA or we build the same stuff or in your platform. In a better way. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. I see, mm -hmm. I see, I see. So we take in account the to IDs. Uh, one. Mm -hmm. Other things? One, uh, yeah, one thing. Maybe the reason why Fractally designed it such that um, those who are on top are the the people who earn the most respect mm -hmm. because uh, they also thought that the, the decision-making is limited for them. Um that's to Tadas's point why we actually designed the current system as it is. Mm. Because we thought that there's going to be a lot of decision making by the delegates. But it turns out that they're actually incapable of reaching consensus efficiently. So maybe, maybe even the top respected person is not a bad thing at all to be the one who is like responsible for the treasury, responsible for signing uh, actions on behalf of the uh, contract. My view is that the problem is not that uh, the delegates uh, uh, take time to reach consensus. The problem is that we almost started uh, starting to reach consensus on everything. I, I think that a lot of things can be done by Eden Fractal without passing any proposal. Uh, and we should need very little consensus from the delegate. Uh, yeah, yeah, just, so just one just thing that I want to precise thought. here. Uh, we have uh, 10 minutes before the end of this uh, brainstorming session. I want that we stay very focused on the role of a delegate. That's what we are trying to define here into this brainstorming session. And that's a very good start. That will be not the last time, by the way. Uh, before to go to another stone, we have to finish on a stone. So here we are for the first time discussing in detail what is the role of a delegate that was never made like this. So to be, to be very clear, Noam, something to add to the role of a delegate for you after all this yes, discussion. Uh, some, so, something about what Vlad said reminded me of something I think might be useful. Uh, decentralization is not efficient. If we want efficiency, decentralization isn't the way to go. We're using decentralization definition of where on the where on the scale between decentralization pulling one way and efficiency pulling the other way 
we want the delegates to be. And that's what I had to say. And if I have to complete, I think uh, decentralize the hidden fractal contract and the uh, MC more thanks to by doing limiting decision making and elect the lead link of a circle every two months. That helps uh, exactly what you what you say now. We have to begin a little bit centralized to decentralize. And by doing this kind of uh, circle uh, in, into the circle in the fractal to create holes like position, like dev, marketing, onboarding, etc., uh, you let the responsibility of the guys at the head of this role to take the decision. That's not what we have currently. We have already we have only moving by by creating proposals, and we were stating that on other episodes. We are a little bit stopped into our progression. So if we go more into this kind of uh, holacracy think, uh, we, we 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 will be more agile. I would say, uh, Tadas, you raise your hand before Dan. So I will let go uh, Tadas first. Or maybe you want to give to Dan yeah. as you want. Yeah, so one question I I would raise and Vlad, you don't have to answer now. Uh, one thing that I would ask how capture would be prevented because uh, lead link would uh, be given a lot of power. And so what if he or people he assigns to positions, what if they start uh, behaving in ways that don't uh, represent the will of the community. Uh, I think Fractally had uh, a mechanism to call back the uh, members of a council. Uh, so you f would probably need something like that, but then it's tricky because uh, how would the calling back mechanism work? Uh, he, lead link and technical people it assigns to uh, the positions uh, they would be in control of a smart contract i guess or or the delegates would be in control of a smart contract basically what i'm getting at, at is that uh, people who are in control of smart contract would be in control of how the signaling mechanism to call back the delegates would have to work if we take that route to prevent capture so, yeah, just, just some thoughts. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't have to answer all of those questions. Okay, I see uh, Dancy Joy raised his hand before. So, Dancy Joy. Yeah. Uh, although, if, if, if you'd like to go first to respond to that, then feel free. Quickly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, how I saw is that. Uh, the contract is always in the delegate's hands. So in that sense, it is secure. And uh, the lead link can take from the treasury each month a percentage uh, that the delegate set. So let's say it's 5%. And then even if everything is corrupted that the lead link does, which is unlikely because he's chosen within the community using the fractal democracy uh, then yeah the five percent is so to say lost but the cool thing is that he's just the lead link is fired every two months so even if he does a shitty job two oh, months yeah. in two months there's a new person that's yeah. like hidden on yours every three months you have a new uh, chief delegate so here that will be every two months that you have a new lead uh, link correct No, I, I actually think there is high probability that if person was a good lead link, he will yeah. be chosen again. Yeah, but yeah. you say the lead link can take some percentage of the treasury for, for what? That depends whether it will, like, um, whether the roles will take directly from treasury or mm -hmm. the roles will get from the lead link the money. So it, I don't know about that. I haven't thought it through. Okay, so the leading can take some Maybe percentage of the treasury, or he can take the... Uh, no, I'm... 
um, the lead link can take some percentage of the treasury or that could be directly from uh, not the lead link that could be from Tadas. Uh, Vlad, sorry. From uh, Vlad. It, 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 it could be it could be coming from a from a vote after the work is done. Oh, from, yeah. Or from the what you stated, or, or uh, Vlad. Like some percentage before, some after. That way you can have an incentive. Okay, uh, Vlad, you were stating the lead link can take some percentage of the treasury or or that will be uh, who that can take from the treasury. Or the roles can, or the contract will directly issue to the roles. Okay, or the contract. So the hidden fractal contract could issue directly to the role, to the roles, yeah. Could issue yeah. directly to the roles. And by a vote, By doing a vote for, the, for that, or the, the depends, depends. It's already details to be defined, and uh, exactly. Yeah. O okay. Okay. And Noam, you want to ask to to add something to that? You, you mean right now? No? Yeah, you are. Uh, uh, yeah, I. What I said is that you can you can draw the money part as the beginning when there's an agreement that some role is going to do some work. You gave some percentage of the uh, of the money, and when the work is done, you give the rest, and both of them can have votes, mm -hmm. and that creates the right incentives. To do the job, to do the job, yeah. So you right. allocate the funds, but you don't approve them until the work is done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what, what if the work is never done? Well, I it's if, some... if it's if it's work that's only only part time, it's if it doesn't have deliverables, then if people are happy with what the delegate did, he'll get. He'll get he'll get it approved because there was no deliverable. But yeah, if it's you... something that has to be delivered, if the role was yeah. supposed to do such yeah. and such, you can see if it was done or not. Now we need to think that, that through. Yeah, that's that's how to ensure the delivery yeah. of the work. Like uh, in every, uh, when you take some percentage, you have to prove what you are doing. Otherwise, you just uh, take from the treasury without to prove anything. So you have to uh, to have some uh, check during the road, like uh, Noam is uh, proposing. I am just uh, putting that here. The lead, the lead link can take some percentage of the treasury or the hidden fractal could issue directly to the roles to be defined. And we have to ensure the delivery of the work because you are just uh, taking from the treasury. Uh, that would be uh, very cautious. Uh, I give to uh, Dancing Joy or to Lenny. Uh, decide between, between you. Mm. Rich consensus. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks. Yeah, I'll go first. I saw Lenny was pointing. I think my hand was very... I'm looking forward to hearing many of his thoughts next, but first I'll share some of my uh, reactions. First, for a little more context, I didn't share it in the screen before, but um, yeah, people mentioned Haifa. People can check out Haifa.Earth. They're an organization that recently raised almost a million dollars from the ENF to build holocratic tools, and I've been speaking to them. They have a lot of cool tools coming up. Uh, I also did an Eden Town Hall with uh, Joachim that Patrick joined at EdenTownHall.com. So episodes people can check out. And it's also pretty similar what Vlad is suggesting to what Chris Barnes is creating too with DGov too, or it has some similarities rather. So I'm excited to see all these things developing. And um, there's also a town hall with uh, Chris at EdenTownHall.com slash 36, where he introduced some of the ideas. As far as my reactions, um, I don't see any problem with the way their system is currently working. I think it's working pretty much perfectly right now. I mean, there's obviously lots of ways we can improve, but for where we're at, I think it's working very well. Um, I think that, I, I mean, Lenny mentioned staying in the same place in a couple of years. I don't see that happening. I think that we're on a very exciting trajectory where things are going to grow very quickly, uh, especially when we get a couple more things running. But the way that we're doing with delegates and 
rewarding with respect that Tadas created in the Eden plus factor process. I'm still like profoundly amazed by it. I think that for one thing, I think it's interesting to explore incentivizing work with like single leaders and circles. But overall, I think that kind of as Noam was saying, um, direct director fractally process is the best way to incentivize work. I think it just naturally happens. It also keeps it simple. Like Lenny was mentioning, we don't want to make it too complex. Um, perhaps it can be helpful to have an additional segment or portion where a lead link can be uh, and a circle can be elected for some purposes. But overall, I mean, I think it's working fantastically. I think that this fractally process is pretty much the best way to reward um, and incentivize public goods. Also, I think, uh, I, I don't understand Lenny, Vlad, and Patrick's pers perspective that we're moving too slowly as far as passing proposals. I, I spoke about this with Vlad a bit, but I think that, uh, as Noam was saying, it's good to um, find a good balance between decentralization and efficiency. And yeah. uh, I, I, and also, as Tadas was saying, too, we're making most decisions without making, uh, without forming processes, with, with, without ma making proposals to the community. Like, we're all making thousand decisions every day uh, on our own that doesn't need to be passed there uh, or that doesn't need an approval and so forth. I think that our biggest, uh, that our biggest opportunity for efficiency is by using better tools asynchronously. Like, right now, we're just meeting once a week, basically, and we have a Telegram chat, but we can use a Telegram chat a lot more effectively. Also, tools like Notion and Descript, which can help with video editing and all sorts of collaborative tools. I think that can help us be way more efficient so that delegates have information throughout the week rather than trying to learn everything at the one meeting. So I think overall, like it, it, it's a feature, not a bug, that we're moving fairly slowly because it enables us to set up the foundations for growth using these different kinds of collaborative tools um, over time. And overall, I think that our system of electing delegates and respecting prior contributions, I think it's a fantastic system that um, it, it's about to show a lot of huge benefits in the future. Um, and, and, I, and I would be very careful about trying to change that system too much or add too much complexity to it. I will add the link of Lenny about uh, okay. other, things, other things to consider. Let me go maybe ahead a little bit, uh, Dan. Thank you very much. I will just put the, the link of uh, Thanks. Uh, yeah. IFA. Thank you. Thank you. I will just put that good. And, and, the... and, 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 and one sentence. Can you put it in the Telegram yeah. chat as well? Because uh, it's going to be gone. I, I will put the, the Noam. I will put after the this um, um, brainstorming. I will give also the mind map where you can go as I do every time. So all is here. And I will put that here. OK, so Dan, you want to mention something Great. more? And just, just one thing. I... Yeah, just one thing I wanted to answer or say, because the theme of this discussion has been what is the role of the delegate? I think we could summarize it pretty succinctly to just say a delegate expresses opinions on community matters. Not enough uh, precise. Um, we have mentioned here that the delegate is representing his group, first thing, and it will be elected by a circle. That's not that we have currently into Eden Fractal. And to answer to you, how is, it, how is it going currently, how it is all perfect and all, I think uh, what Vlad was uh, mentioning here, what, will be the, what should be the role of a delegate is very well uh, stated. That's the nice direction where we have to go. We, have, uh, we, are al we are aligned or let's say we have nothing to clarify on what has already clarified Vlad because we were stating that Vlad clarified his model, yourself also. And Noam has made just a pre precision on some definition of a delegate. So we have to consider those things. That's what we are doing here into this brainstorming session. That is not currently exactly clear what is the role of a delegate. If we go into the next hidden fractal meeting, there will be again question into the breakout room. So just after this one, and we are at the end of this brainstorming session, I will put this mind map. We have brainstormed one hour on that. That's the, 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 the writing here, all is written. There is the mind map. Noam can see that uh, into the, in the fractal telegram when I will do the edit of the video and all, and also this mind map. So I think, Dance Enjoy, I agree with you that the Eden plus fractal is good. That is a fantastic process. But at the same time, I agree also that we have to move more into circle because you, you are elected as a delegate by a circle to represent the group and you have to be a trust person exactly 
because now currently into the breakout room, basically everyone can raise his hand and say, I want to be a delegate. And then they are not joining maybe the next week. Uh, you have to join at least the next week and you are elected for four weeks, by the way, in different councils. Uh, there are things for, imp there are rooms for improvement, I would say, uh, being myself into the uh, hidden fractal meeting. But um, this brainstorming session is just a first session about the role of a delegate. I think we will... Uh, continue the discussion on that. That's not the last time. So for today, I think we have made the, to the tour. Uh, and I will maybe, we will wrap, up, wrap it up here because otherwise we are here for two hours. And uh, we will have another session to uh, continue on this brain, brain of doubt. What you think, Dan? Makes sense that we continue the discuss much. about the yes, role sir. of a delegate or all is made already in your head? Yep, sounds good. Well, I think that we can keep it simpler in a lot of ways. Um, and what we have is already very effective. And there's ways that we can uh, facilitate that better with different focuses, like using different tools like Notion better and Telegram better and so forth. But I'm excited to explore this idea more. I appreciate Vlad bringing up the idea very much and all of the great insights that, uh, that everybody here has shared and you hosting this, Patrick. So yeah, I'm looking forward to discussing it more and learning more and helping to clarify the role of a delegate. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is what you think we should continue a little bit more to iterate on this role of a delegate that it is just broke up today into this brainstorming session for the first time at this level of clarification, or we should say, yes, all is going fine, we I didn't think, use fractal. Uh, well, in my eyes, I kind of agree with Dan <laughs> in that it's going fine. I mean, for me, the role of a delegate was clear. It, it was, it's very limited, uh, but it's also very fle flexible. Okay, let's uh, say that into the, the next uh, to define, meeting tomorrow. To give a role to the... Let's say, but let yeah. me finish. I definitely yeah. think that uh, that Vlad's ideas are worth exploring. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I I I'm willing to explore them in upcoming brainstorming sessions. Yeah, and but but more yeah, than... I, I could talk more about it. But for now, let's yeah. But more than into the brainstorming session, we have that just on every two weeks. And I see Dan making his thumbs up. That could not be uh, anything else. Tomorrow, we have a hidden fractal meeting on the Wednesday. So if someone is asking what is the role of a delegate, Dan Sinjoy, you will explain what is the role of a delegate. Maybe into uh, before that we go into breakout room, what is the role of a delegate? Uh, more than just say, uh, you have to be uh, present on the next week. My conclusion on that, uh, very cool uh, clarification of Vlad on the holacracy side and how we could move on on the role of a delegate. But currently, we are not really using the tools of uh, Alf IFA on the sociocracy and the holacracy. We are not using those tools. The treasury management, we are not also really using. We have not yet the lead link and all these uh, beautiful ideas here. So we can just uh, continue to go with the hidden plus fractal process how it is now and make sure uh, at the beginning of a hidden fractal meeting by the moderator to say what is really the role of a delegate when you want to be a delegate into your breakout room. That's, I think, something that we can do. And maybe we will come back onto this, uh, um, onto this uh, topic, role of a delegate in a couple of brainstorming sessions. We will see. Nothing is frozen in the stone. I give the mic to as conclusion uh, that you want to. Yeah, do. so I think I think it was a productive discussion, and uh, Vlad's ideas are worth exploring more. Uh, they are definitely worth exploring more, and uh, mm -hmm. it's an open question if uh, Eden Fractal should adopt some of them. In my opinion. Okay, nice. And uh, Vlad, your conclusion on that today? Make a uh, make. Makes sense to to iterate on that more on the other brainstorming session in the future. I don't know I when, think, but uh, yeah. I think the thing that we're missing is uh, organizational structure. So we need a structure for our organization, like any organization needs it to 
be well functioning and uh, just yeah these were some ideas how to create that organizational structure in a nutshell pick a dictator for two months using the fractal democracy exactly we need an organizational organizational structure for sure that's not that's not what we have currently we don't have an organizational structure for uh, Eden Fractal, and that's which that's what you tried with this role of a delegate to to go into this direction. Uh, Dan, a conclusion on this brainstorming session make uh, sense to continue to iterate on this role of a delegate that could help us, by the way, to organize to put uh, organizational organizational structure for Eden Fractal that we don't really have currently. Yeah, I'm looking forward to discussing this topic more. Um, like to us, I'm thankful that Vlad brings this up. And I think they're worth exploring it. And it's an open question whether they'll be useful uh, in addition to the e plus factor process, but they could be very well. And I'm looking forward to it. We do have some organizational, organizational structure, uh, to be clear, mm -hmm. which works quite well. But I certainly agree that we need more organizational structure. I think that the uh, best opportunity for more organizational structures by using tools like Notion. And I'm looking forward to discussing that uh, more in the future, as well as the role of delegates and so forth. So thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. We have a lot of tools currently into Eden Fractal. We, ju we just have to use them intelligently and to let the Eden Fractal member to collaborate between them, because that's the goal of Eden Fractal. We want to see people collaborating between them. That's why you have uh, Vlad coming every week, Tadas every week, st uh, testing his tools like a sandboxing into Eden Fractal and creating maybe new collaboration with the people like me also coming into those Eden Fractal for that as many other people. And by the way, to be uh, rewarded into uh, EOS and uh, Eden respect into the breakout room. That's what uh, we want to see and uh, more uh, structured. I agree totally with uh, with Vlad on that. And I agree with uh, Dan Sinjoy also that we have uh, good processes currently, but for me, the we need an organizational, organizational structure more precise than currently. Voila, <laughs> that's the conclusion. And uh, I see you in two, two weeks from now for another brainstorming session. Nice discussion. And very, uh, we say what we mean, and we put all that into a document. And here we have made that. Thank you very much to have joined. See you in two weeks. Thank you. And we finish by stat stating, then. go Eden Fractal brainstorming session, but that's long. We will say go EFBS at 3210. So 3210, go EFBS. Go oh, yes. 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 Okay, thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks everyone. Yeah, nice. Yoohoo!